beautiful people welcome back to the channel this is basically a video of how i do my own acrylic nails so please like subscribe and hit the post notification bell button so you guys are notified every time i upload new videos and follow me cali underscore love underscore five six one so these are the tips i'll be using they're basically the b u tips and i get them on amazon i will be leaving a link down below for you guys if you guys are interested these tips I actually don't use on my clients a lot because a lot of them, they get coffin, I guess. Um, if you want to do a coffin with like a great C curve, you could use these nails, obviously. But um, basically, I'm just using them because I'm giving myself an almond, like an, a long almond nail look. But anyway, these are the nails. I'll be showing you guys how I will be doing them. Basically, an encapsulated dried flower design with some diamonds so the bit that i'm using is actually not a bit it's actually a sanding band so that means it's not like a metal thing the thing that's metal is a little dermo i believe that's what it's called it's a little metal thing where you place the little sanding band so the sanding bands are medium um grit and they're just little paper sanding bands that you can find at your local nail supply at cosmo prof i believe salon centric may have them as well but i usually find them at cosmo prof so i don't know about salon centric 100 percent but you can also find these similar bands at or online on Amazon, eBay. Um, maybe some other people that sell nail products may have them as well. And like I said, these are medium sanding bands. And what we're doing is removing the shine off of the nail. I have not had my nails done, oh my gosh, in so long. So doing this video, I'm just so excited to get a new set. So now that we removed the shine, let's begin with gluing the tips. Like I said, these are the BU tips that I get on Amazon. They are a stiletto shape. You can make them into square, stiletto, almond, anything tapered, things like that, if they're gonna either be medium or a little bit long. But if you want something more longer and you wanna do a square, don't use these. It, these nails, basically, I just have them because it does make your job easier if you wanna do like an almond or a stiletto with a little bit of a C curve. Um, not everybody likes a C curve. Some people like flat nails. Some people like curved nails. It just depends, you know? So, yeah, the way that I am gluing them on is by using the KDS glue. And KDS glue I also buy on Amazon. And it is this glue that I'm holding right here. This, um, I can't say the name for these files. I don't know why. It's Kushio or something. I'm not sure. Um, but they are from Cosmo Prof. And these are the 180 ones, the one that I just opened. Um, right here I'm blending though before I start getting into the hand file I'm still using my e-fill to blend the tips and I'm blending because it's gonna need to be more natural you have to have it more natural for a more even application and because also I am doing an encapsulated look with like a clear finish um, I don't want any lines to show underneath the clear acrylic but yeah right after removing all of that and blending the nail tips we can start with the application um so these um basically the two powders that i just showed you guys is clear from koopa i just put in the mia secret thing because i don't have another container i'm gonna have to buy one from koopa probably and so the i'm just showing you the glitters i'll be using but anyway and then the pink one that's over there is a mixture i made myself and of course i'm going to be using young nails um primer protein bond so let's do this first i am just adding um the primer on each nail and i will show you guys why i took out the little container the containers because i am going to be doing my own mix that's why i was showing you guys the glitters and the glitters are all from different area um, places i've gotten some at michael's and walmart so i'm going to be using young nails monomer so that's the liquid and i am cutting up the paper towels you see guys <laughs> I, this is how i cut the paper towels um for the wipes so that way you don't use cotton because cotton has too much of the little lint and see i even use these little paper towels to clean my little dappen dish which is amazing so there goes the monomer and here is the glitter number one this is just a glitter that's like a white with some iridescence in it and then we're using this finer um holographic glitter and then we're going to be using this um chunkier holographic glitter silver glitters of course and the last one is like a flakier one this is like little flakes and they are all from michael's i believe maybe something from walmart but most of the time i would get them at michael's 
and now we're shaking it and like i said i did i don't know if i showed but i did add clear acrylic into this with the glitter i don't know if i showed that i don't think i did but anyway i was testing it out to see what it looks like and this is how i test it out and if i think i need something else i just remove it and i add in whatever i think i need to add in so i felt like i need a little bit more of this chunkier holographic silver glitter and i'm just using the pusher um to pick it up it's much easier that way and then i already mixed it and we're just gonna check it out and see what it, what we think and i actually ended up liking it like this i didn't want to add anything else so that's what it looks like it's not the best view but you'll see how it ends up looking like on the nails so now that we did our mix we can go ahead and start the application and we're just adding a thin layer on to the bottom part of the nail because we're going to be doing an ombre and basically the the pink part is going to be an, another mix that i made myself and i'll be showing you guys how i did it these are the little dried flowers i get on amazon you can also get them on aliexpress or ebay but anyway i was just showing you guys so you guys can see what i'll be using but here because i wanted to show you because i'm already going to be doing it on this now so this now is the dried flower now so we're just adding a thin layer of the glitter for some background um i guess aesthetics and now we're just going to add some clear on top so that we can use the clear to stick on the flowers so that's what we're doing after adding the the glitter part because sometimes it just dries too fast so i added some clear right before applying the flower you got to do this as soon as possible so that the acrylic doesn't dry and then you're trying to add a flower and it's not sticking because it's happened to me so i did um press it down with my fingers because i feel like that is the best way to keep it down because they like to lift up a lot so we added a little bit more clear and then with this little tweezer thing that actually the um the flowers came with um we're also picking up the yellow one with the little tweezer and like i said press it down before the acrylic is dry and that's the easiest way possible guys to do your dry flowers or to adhere them underneath for encapsulation so for the rest of the nails we're doing the same exact thing and i don't mean the same exact thing as a design i mean like the pinky we're doing the same exact thing we're going to be doing it three fourths of the way up and we're just blending that down feathering it down spreading the the glitter around and yeah we're just doing that on all the nails The brush that I'm using is a number 20 Kalinsky brush, and this is my favorite brush of all time. I got it on my local nail supply store. So let's move on. So now we're doing our right hand, which is our dominant hand, which means that I'm using my non-dominant hand to do it. So it's actually pretty hard to do this, but we're just doing the same thing, fading down the glitter that we created, and the napkin that I'm using to soak off the acrylic and clean my brush is those little mechanic i don't even know the brand to be honest but it's like the mechanic ones and i actually like it because it just looks nice in my background but if not you can use the white paper towels from viva paper towel the one that looks like cloth because it's just more absorbent absorbent much more absorbent sorry i've been watching natalie carmona on youtube and she sometimes says it kind of funny but that's why it kind of stuck to me that way but anyway it's very absorbent paper and like i said we're just putting the other pieces of dried flowers onto the nail and we're going to press it down because it is wet and i'm going to go ahead and add some more clear 
and we're gonna place it where we want the yellow one and that's how we're doing that so now we can go ahead and pick up our little tweezer and we're using our right hand and then I'm gonna go ahead and transfer it to the other hand so that I can place it a lot easier this tweezer thing is like amazing it really really does help and we're pressing that down with our fingers you guys, I prefer almond and stiletto nails because when you're a nail tech, it is so annoying to have coffin. You can literally mess them up so easily. As much as I love coffin, this makes me love stiletto and almond a lot more because I know it's going to last a lot longer on me. So I'm so happy I got my nails back. I hadn't had time and I'm very happy with the pink that I created as well. This is just cover rose and I'm going to be adding cover nude. That's the both of them that went in there. So cover rose, cover nude, and then this mix that I made myself, which is basically cover rose with a little bit of pigment from CND, the little pink pigment that I made myself. If you guys want to see my videos on how I make my own cover acrylics, um, just let me know. I can make a video for you guys. I can give you guys like a couple to show you how to make your own. It's not really hard. It's very, very simple and you don't need that many things. Anyway, so now that we have our cover acrylic, I looked at it and I think it looks great. So I'm already ready to use it. And I did get a new paper towel because that is how you keep your brush clean. If your paper towel is so messy, just throw it away. Grab a new one. You will thank yourself later. And yeah, so we are just adding the the cover onto this now and we did add it a little bit right on top of the glitter and then the other one we added right below the cuticle and this one we're just adding right below the cuticle as well but we're just adding right now to blend it to our liking and if we need any extra because i do like it to be very not potent but very opaque so yeah so then we're doing the same thing on all the other nails So I decided to grab my diamond because um, it is a lot easier to do this part right here with it. It wasn't very helpful when I was trying to do my right hand with my left, but it did work really well with using it for my left hand while I'm working with my right hand. So now we're going to be doing our 
right hand, which is so hard. I dread it. I can't with this part, but it has to be done, obviously, if I want to walk around with both hands done. So this is basically the first time I kind of used the diamond to stabilize my right hand while doing it with my left. Um, it was okay. It did help a little bit, but at some point I did get frustrated um and i started moving around as you guys can see it was kind of a hot mess but i'm gonna leave it here because i want you guys to really see like how hard it is and how annoying it is but it's still possible to do it um and i just want you guys to see just it out of curiosity because i know i was really curious like how do people do their own hand you know so yeah i'm just gonna let you guys watch the rest of this part So we're gonna go back to our left hand and I'm just gonna encapsulate it with the Koopa clear acrylic and we're just building it up as well because the glitter was very very thin and of course you need a lot of product around the apex area for 
um, stability and sturdiness purposes, making sure that it's strong enough and you don't hurt yourself. So this is me encapsulating the art, the dried flowers. There was some under, so I just went under and cleaned it up. But yeah, we're just going part to part. Um, we're going to start at the bottom and then work our way towards the middle and then underneath the cuticle area, which would be the top part. Um, yeah, so with these dried flowers, I did make a mistake when I first used them a while back when I first started using them. So basically what you want to do is make sure if you're going to encapsulate them, make sure that if you do have anything underneath the flowers, like me with the glitter or maybe somebody with like acrylic color, make sure that it's thin enough so that when you place the flowers on top, the flowers are more so underneath the acrylic than more on top not on top of the acrylic as in above but just to make sure there's not too much product underneath the flowers because if you're going to encapsulate them then you make got to make sure you're going to encapsulate them thick enough but you don't want them so thick that the acrylic is like very bulky so just to keep in mind keep it as thin as you can um with whatever product is under the flowers and then you know that way you can work with a lot more acrylic to make sure that the whole flowers are covered and you don't have to file too much and then there's not too much product on that now i hope that makes sense but i'm just gonna finish off the other ones and uh, we'll move on And I was having a hard time encapsulating this whole hand, but we got it done, you guys. This is a little part so I, you guys can see how really, really crazy it was for me to do. But anyway, so now we can just finish file. We're gonna file the sides. Make sure anything underneath the nail is gone. This is, this is me using the hand file. And like I said, this was a 100, 180 hand file and I hated it. It just was not like strong enough, I guess you can say. It was too weak for me. But we did what we had to do and we got the job done regardless. But yeah, let's just finish file the whole hands and then, you know, you guys can see me buff them. So you guys can see um, me apply the stones next. But before I forgot to mention, this is me drilling the nails. I totally forgot about this part, but this is me drilling the nails. Obviously, this is the most important part when you're done with the application you're going to go around the cuticle make sure that anything stuck to the skin is removed like this this is basically what you do you go underneath the skin and you go above the acrylic if that makes sense to remove anything there and you know you're going to finish file the nails with this bit as well this is a gold bit and it is a carbide bit and the grit on it is a fine bit. So that means the nail will be very, very smooth once you're done. And as you guys can see, this is me doing my right hand with my non-dominant hand. And it wasn't as bad as usual. I kind of stabilized my hand as much as I could. And it turned out really well. And I really enjoyed actually doing this part right here. With the buffer, we buff the surface on top and then we go under to remove any acrylic that may be just hanging underneath the nail and there is always a lot. So that's what we did here. And then we're just gonna take some alcohol and these little wipes that we cut up earlier and we're gonna spray the nails. The little spray bottles, the one that I got from the Dollar Tree. If you guys haven't seen my Dollar Tree haul, this is actually in the video. And you guys can check out stuff at the Dollar Tree to save a little bit of money, you guys. So check out the video and you will see what I bought. All right, so here you guys see me um, do the diamonds and these diamonds, 
I honestly don't remember where I got them. I think I got them on AliExpress or Amazon. I'm not really sure. But these diamonds are so beautiful. They're like a beautiful aquamarine color. I've always, for some reason, been so attracted to this color. And I guess that's why even in my logo, I asked um, the person that did it, which was my brother. My brother did my logo. I asked him if he could incorporate this color somehow, and he did. So I'm very happy with that. And basically, we're just, you know, taking a bigger color diamond in the middle and then taking a different color diamond that ends smaller. So, you know, you guys can see the pattern. And we did this on the other hand as well. And the glue that I'm using is Mia Secrets and the pen that you see me holding here. This is this is a wax pencil that I got on Amazon and they're very inexpensive. I, think, I believe they were like a dollar. I'm sure they were a dollar. I'm not really sure if there was. I think it was two for a dollar or maybe two for one forty four, something like that. And I think I got them on AliExpress. Sorry, I think I told you guys it was from Amazon, but now that I think, but I think it was on AliExpress. Anyway, so this is me using the gel resin as well. And like I said, we're doing the exact same thing on this other hand. And to finish it off, you guys will see me spray it with activator spray. Now we're gonna grab our D&D &D top coat. This is by D&D &D DC. This is the number 900 top coat. It is the non-cleanse top coat. So now that we're applying the top coat, you can see the design come through with the glitter and the flowers and everything like that. Everything just looks so much better, obviously, with the top coat. So we are just gonna cure both these hands in my LED light for one minute. All right, so now we can apply the cuticle oil. This is just regular cuticle oil from Sally's. And this is gonna help nourish my cuticles back to life, keep them healthy and beautiful. And yeah, it makes my hands look even better after all that filing and stuff, being rough with them. So yeah, that's the final look. I hope you guys really loved the video. I really love my nails and yeah. Hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and hit that post notification bell button so that you guys are notified every time I upload new videos. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please come back and join the family, guys. Take care. Love you guys. Bye.